Let's get something straight, John. Amusement park in the entire world. Why don't you all sit down? Just one drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA, the building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. G'day, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. <laughs> so I'm kind of trying attempting this. Uh, it's not possible. This is one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. They remember. What are they doing? The essence of chaos. Grandpa! Kids! We miss you! <laughs> Will be your transports for the afternoon. The driver. No, 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 no driver. And they're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the, the butterfly. A butterfly can flap its wings and be king in Central Park. You get rain instead of sunshine. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. I 
told you how many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors. Right Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis. <laughs> Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Quiet, all of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Remember, viable embryos. They're no use to us if they don't survive. 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. Seven o'clock, the stock. Oh, uh, I, uh, finished debugging the phones, uh, but the, uh, system's gonna be, uh, compiling for, uh, 18 to 20 minutes, so some of the minor systems, they might go on and off for a while. Anybody want a soda or something? Whoa. Fences are failing all over the park. Security systems are shutting down. Phones are out, too. Access main program grid. Uh, uh, uh. You didn't say the magic word. Please. I wonder if perhaps you would be good enough to be my match. Sure. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going with him. Hey, what did I touch? Uh, you didn't touch anything. We stopped. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. You feel Climbing us. You never, never look down. Okay. Oh, no. Go.
We're back in the car again. Oh, at least you're out of the tree. Where's the other car? Alan! Alan! Uh. Uh. Ian? Ian? Every chance moving him. Please, chances. the entire system. The only way to wipe out everything that he did. Uh... You please shut down the system. It's okay. Look, see that? It's on. It worked. The shutdown tripped the circuit breakers. Three minutes, I can have the power back on in the entire park. Just to be safe, I want everybody in the emergency bunker until Mr. Arnold returns and the whole system's up and running again. Hiring Ned to do was a mistake. Should have been there by now. Nice boy. What do you want? What do you want? You want food? Visitors said it's just a oh, smile of that rise there. Oh, just God. keep. Whoa! Whoa! Meat eating? Uh, meat sources? Really uniform direction changes, just like a flock of birds evading a predator. They're, uh. They're flocking this way. went wrong. I'm gonna go get the power back on. You can't just stroll down the road. <laughs> I think I can follow this and then talk you through it. Yeah. Come on, let's go.
Doors to park. So have I. Dr. Malcolm, here to share a few campfire stories with my uncle. I was there, I know what happened, and so do you. In Jen, is my responsibility now, Doctor, and I will jealously defend its interests. Oh. You were right and I was wrong there. Did you ever expect to hear me say such a thing? Isla Nubla was just a showroom, something for the tourists. Site B was the factory floor. That was on Ina Sauna. A few weeks ago, a British family on a yacht cruise stumbled across the island. The boarders used the incident to take control of Injun from me. Okay, so there's another island with dinosaurs, no fences this time, and you want to send people in? I need a complete photo record of those animals. You didn't contact Sarah. She'll be fine. And believe me, the research team was not a research expedition anymore. It's a rescue operation, and it's leaving right now. Uh, 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 
You can't shave three days off my deadline. Expect everything to be ready. I'm not fully supplied. I haven't field tested any of this stuff. That's okay. Uh, now, listen, I gotta tell you, uh, something, I gotta talk to you. Where are you going, anyway? It's only for a few days, but I wouldn't be going if it wasn't, a if it wasn't, uh, really Dr. important. Malcolm. This is so cool. Built a location sensor into Dr. Hardy's satellite phone, so we should be getting a reading. Hey, Nick! Uh. Ah. And I never thought in a million years that I'm gonna get you to come here. Hey, Eddie! Hi, Sarah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Those animals just walked by. Did you see them? It's a family group. If I can just get a shot of the nest. I'll be right back. Sarah, no, no! I just wanted to make dinner. Wanted ready when you guys got back. Kelly, Kelly, you have no what idea. Is lock her up with curiosity? You really came Eddie? all that way? Huh? Oh. I don't get it. It says engine on the, on the side of that chopper. I don't get that. Why, why wouldn't Hammond send two teams? This is as good a place as any for base camp. This is a game trail, Mr. Ludlow. If you want me to run your little camping trip, I'm in charge. Okay. Okay! Peter, get into the outrigger. You're closing in on her. The one with the big red horn, the Pompadour. Put in, Jen is seeking limited partners to defray some of our expansion costs. You don't bring people halfway around the world to visit a zoo. You bring the zoo to them. Mr. Hammond knew this before he ever dreamt of an island. He began construction on an amphitheater. San Diego is the perfect site. It could be completed and ready to receive visitors in less than a month. Uh, I think I should tell you guys. Hammond told me these people might show up. He did send a backup plan. What backup plan? Me. One might say it'd be up and running. He 
He's got a broken leg. Let's get in the car before they hear us. Are you out of your mind? Do you have any idea what that is? You're nuts. That should make an interesting chapter in your book. Communication equipment's been destroyed. Oh, We're on. stuck here, ladies and gentlemen, and stuck together thanks to you people. At least we came prepared. There's a communication center here, in the old operations building. If we can get here, we can send a radio call for the airlift. <laughs> the operations building is right down in there. About a mile and a half from the base of these cliffs. We'll let them sleep one more hour. Sajay's back. They said the communication center is in the operations. Building. So I'll just I'll get in there and I'll send the radio call, all right? I'll see you there. Oh. Every second counts. Anyone thinks they can keep up? Welcome to try. Nick! Nick! Nick Van Owen!
the chopper coming! Fifteen years ago, John Hammond had a dream. Well, half an hour from now, John Hammond's dream, reimagined, will come true. Tonight, we'll christen Jurassic Park San Diego with a mega attract. The ship is here. It's early. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, get away from that!